A Louisville Metro Councilman calling out a communication breakdown which he says is failing to prevent violence in JCPS schools. After recent incidents like this one, Councilmember Anthony Piagentini says he's calling for a meeting between LMPD and JCPS. I've been pummeled from parents that, that are absolutely fed up with this. This was the chaos two weeks ago inside Eastern High School. JCPS confirming a gun fell out of a student's backpack during this fight. This was the whole cafeteria looked like in complete bedlam. This week, another gun found at Moore High School. For anybody to accept this as, well, this is normal and we have guns in schools and all this, that's ridiculous. District 19 Councilman Anthony Piagentini calls the level of violence happening in our community and in Louisville's public schools unacceptable and says it's up to government leaders to do more. He says there's a lack of communication between JCPS and LMPD that needs to be fixed immediately. We now need a formal process that LMPD and the JCPS security teams can share information. When we used to have the sheriff's office and LMPD in the school system, that communication happened naturally. Those officers would let the officers in that beat know, hey, this is going on. Piagentini says that's not happening anymore and points to an alleged breakdown of communication leading up to the murder of 16-year-old Tyree Smith. The Eastern High School student was killed at his bus stop in West Louisville in September 2021. I'll never forget the time. It was 618. It was a loud scream. It was the worst. You know, it, it wasn't a scream. It was like, Mama, I've been shot. And I said, I said, what? And he said, get her now, please. He said, I'm dying. A lawsuit filed on behalf of his mother accuses JCPS of knowing of gang activity, threats of violence, and an actual shooting at that bus stop before and failing to act. Piagentini says he's already talked with a few JCPS board members to get the ball rolling on a meeting between LMPD and JCPS to address communication concerns. In a statement, JCPS tells WDRB, quote, Jefferson County Public Schools works closely with all local law enforcement agencies, including the Louisville Metro Police Department. We are always happy to talk with LMPD and Metro government about community issues and the impact they have on Jefferson County Public Schools. All parents should be showing up at these JCPS board meetings to peacefully but passionately uh, communicate to this board that what's going on in the school system is unacceptable. Piagentini says he plans to attend JCPS's meeting on Tuesday and hopes to address the full school board during the com public comment period.